In this video, we will be making Streptomyces venezuelae spore stalks and inoculating liquid cultures for chloramphenicol production. We will collect spores from MYM agar plates that have been incubated for five days at 30 degrees. These are the same plates we have previously used to cut discs for agar plug diffusion assays. We will collect our spores in 10 milliliters of sterile 20% glycerol. We collect the spores by rubbing across the surface of the plate with a sterile cotton bud. We start with wild type Streptomyces venezuelae, collecting spores from across the entire surface of the plate. The spores are washed off the cotton bud by dipping into our solution of 20% glycerol. The wet cotton bud can be used again to collect any remaining spores from the surface of the plate. The remaining collected spores can be added to our spore stock by dipping once more into the same solution of 20% glycerol. We can see how our spore suspension is cloudy or turbid compared to the original 20% glycerol solution. M1582 spores are collected in exactly the same way. These spore stocks can be stably stored for many years at minus 20 degrees centigrade. Next week, we will make dilutions of these spore stocks and plate to measure their concentration. We would expect these spore stocks to 
contain at least 10 to the 8 spores per milliliter. Spore concentrations may be as high as 10 to the 10 or 10 to the 11 spores per milliliter. In the remaining part of this video, we inoculate two shake flasks with MYM liquid media with Streptomyces venezuelae spores. Here we are preparing one culture of wild type Streptomyces venezuelae and one culture of strain M1582 Streptomyces venezuelae. After discarding the protective aluminium foil from the tops of the shake flasks, we pour a total of 40 milliliters of MYM medium into each flask. A Bunsen burner could be used here to sterilize the rims of all glass vessels used, taking care not to set the cotton wool alight. As no Bunsen burner is available, I just work rapidly and avoid touching the rim of the flask or the bottles. I inoculate both cultures with 25 microliters of spore suspension using my original frozen spore stocks. Alternatively, I could have inoculated these cultures with our freshly prepared spore suspensions, or indeed I could have used a single colony from our nutrient agar plates. Each culture is inoculated with spores of the corresponding strain. M1582 with M1582 spores. Wild type with wild type spores. An extra culture of M1582 was also set up to be used as a positive control for the organic extraction of chloramphenicol. All cultures were incubated with shaking for four days at 30 degrees centigrade. In the next video, we will see how to carry out the organic extraction to purify chloramphenicol.